everybody. I didn't even know the trailer was out now. So, Cause I thought it's, I had saw a countdown that said two hours. So I guess the trailers just got released early, a little early. So a little surprise here. So let's check the trailer out guys. See how, see what we in for. Look, I'm so excited. guys i'm looking forward to this 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 is what we could have gotten if it wasn't for studio interference and a certain man effing it up this is what it, we, we could have gotten we, we probably would have had a, a very successful and then you know very successful uh, movie and maybe could lead up to more sequels to this series um it looks really good it looks like it's on um it could have been like their avengers which they try Josh Beaton try to do a hit that Justice League try to make it too like too much like Avengers, which DC has its own tone. Like I keep saying, DC does not have to copy what Marvel has done. DC is its own company. Its own company is DC Comics. It's not Marvel Comics. They have their own tones. They have their own heroes. You know some of the similarities, but this movie looks really good, and I. I cannot wait for this movie. I really am looking forward to them. Then what we got. Um, I like the scene at the end, Joker. It looks like it's gonna be a better Joker. Maybe. I don't know how big a role Jared Leto's Joker is gonna have in this movie, but at least we saw more of the nightmare scene. We saw more of um a little scene of the dark side we sprinkled into. We already saw in the little clips they had um in um, starting Friday. So it looks really good, guys. Let me know what you comments below if you guys are excited for this too. I know I am. This is I think it's gonna be great. It's going to be a four-hour movie, so it's going to be a lot to take in. Uh, but I am really am looking forward to it. And what else they have in here? They're going to, I, I think they said it's not going to be a um, follow-up to this, which is a shame because if it's a really good movie, I think they said the studio's not even um, uh, thinking about having Zack Snyder do a part two, which is ridiculous. Because I, say, say what you will about Zack Snyder. I don't think Zack Snyder is a horrible director. I've seen worse directors. Uh, like I like I said before, I love Man of Steel. I have a special place in my heart for BVS now, for than I did before. I know same to say what about Watchmen. A lot of people uh, Watchmen. I didn't really care for Watchmen. I gotta rewatch that again. And some other stuff that he's done. Um Dawn of the Dead was really good. I don't think he's a horrible director, like some people make him out to be. I don't think he's a horrible director at all. Um I think I like I like his vision what he did to me what he did in BVS and Man Man of Steel. Man of Steel is my favorite Superman movie now, so Zack Snyder, I don't think he's the, I don't think he's a horrible director, and I'm look very looking much looking forward to this. I think this one's gonna be the uh, 
storyline's gonna be a heck of a lot better than what we got in the theaters. Uh, that Josh Whedon crap. And the way they just <laughs> messed up that just... I've never seen in my life seen a movie so torn apart in my life that's this bad. I've never seen nothing like that before. I'm quite sure there's been other ones. I just can't think of the top of my head, but I've never seen one that's been torn apart so bad and then could have had a better vision. But I don't know. The stu studios like to do that. They had to interfere with movies and screw it up for some reason. I don't know why, but we'll see, guys. I'm looking forward to this movie. March 18th, I got my countdown ready. So very much looking forward to this movie. Very, very, very much. Um, Do I think it's going to be better than um anything that's, that... Uh, MCU has done. I don't know. It could be. Don't attack before I say anything, guys. Please don't, don't, don't say nothing horrible in the comments. But uh, I, I don't know, guys. It might, it may be better than Avengers. I don't. The first one. I don't know. I doubt it. But four hours is a lot to take in. So we, we'll see what um, Zack Snyder has in store for us. And we have probably better storytelling than we did in the, um, in his in Josh Whedon's version. Even BVS, the theatrical version, the storytelling was all over the place but he released his cut on there and i thought to me to me it was a much better improvement than the theatrical version I, that's the only one i really watch now is the ultimate edition cut that he did and I, I think that explains stuff a lot better even with the woman in the movie you know her agenda that i was working with we working with uh lex luther or why she was doing what she doing there the theatrical versions did nothing that, like that he just cut a lot of stuff um so Oh, that's a, that's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm just talking about this particular movie right now. But um, this one, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for this. I know I am. So check it out. Uh, check this trailer out, guys. I mean, if you watched it with me, I, tell me if you hype for this too. I know I am. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button, notification bell. If you post new videos, you should be able to see it. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye bye.